rotating potential, so he's he's getting enough for now. Okay. Well, another little shards gets thrown out there. Three heroes in the bottom lane. It looks like they want to try and pressure down this tower. At least still some damage. Do we see a rotation coming in right um, on the side? Yeah, should see a defense of this. Three heroes already down bottom. It's done. It's already down the crush. Oh, able to get dodged there by the snowball. And the well, secondary shards goes out as well. First blood is going to be drawn. Pilot Die picks that one up. And IG Vitality seems to back out. Very effective at... Forcing towers, pushing now. They have a great amount of physical damage between the troll and the venge, and the initiation Ooh. of the axe is something to be feared. Now that can he do that another time? No, it's not going to happen. They find the kill on him. Just a flurry of stuns, and he evaporates over there by the shrine. A huge kill. Down bottom, perhaps they can make up for it up top. Dogfights is fishing around. He misses Puppy. Okay, maybe he's going back and it did spot him out. Yeah, Puppy will walk into him. Oh, they end up jumping into him there. The silence comes out as well. Puppy does manage to get the snowball off. We'll see if this ends up translating into a kill. They do end up getting him. Yeah. Slider doesn't have a blink. Storm has kind of had a rough time and wants to keep farming. He's not oh. ganking with armor. He's actually just using this armor to keep farming, looking for his deso. Paparazzi in some trouble. The jump in call. It's going to connect. Can they get there in time? Global Silence comes out. So he is going to be able to turn onto this if they want to rotate some more heroes in. They manage to find the stun. Pull him back in as well. Troll finds the kill. Great combo. And this early Helm of the Dominator gives him a Ogre Frost Mage. They've got Ice Armor to push with, which is a great counter to the Slider amp damage. The Life Stealer. There's almost entirely physical damage coming out. Dogfights manages to get the well jump away and is going to be able to walk out center range. They place another one though and still getting a lot of heals here Dogfights trying to TP away. Very ambitious and is not going to get it. They find the kill with the last hit from Puppy. Soon at least, uh, yeah. if not now. Uh, he's going to be looking to fight. Uh, okay, 1,000 gold away. He's going to be looking to, to fight with that and th then the burst damage gets ridiculous. Oh, they do get the jump in onto Troll, but it is to get off the axes first. Still mid one in a lot of trouble there. They get the snowball save and the shrine. Not going to be enough to keep him alive. Walrus Punch turns now onto Paparazzi, the follow-up crush. And looks like the rest of IGB are just going to try and back out of here. Maybe they continue to take the fight. They're very grouped up. The jump forward, Sakta is going to be able to get a couple hits off, but needs to back out here before he ends up dropping. So, Swat. Ooh, MP. He was mid cast. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, all right, they get the call. Kezu's got him. This is a trouble now, and he ends up going down as well. Uh, IGB, this is feeling like a very strange fight to take, but they're going to go in for the crush. They pull back in one. Is it going to be enough? Kezu is going to drop. Uh, still just a very awkward place to fight here. They've got such good vision on the high ground with this ward, so they're going to keep looking to fight. All right, so right clicks available. coming through. MP, they get the crush as well. Grave is there. Can they keep him alive? Storm could jump in. They are going to be able to find him. Nicely played. Akita playing it well, and this is the turnaround they needed. They're just not in the neighborhood. They pop the scan on top of Roche, but now, only now, once Kezu steps outside, does it reveal anything. Oh, and now just going to have to back out again. A little bit of a problem there is... Oh, the jump in, the crush. They're able to catch him. The counterplay is going to come out as well, and stunned up Paparazzi just has to back out for the moment and we'll swap back, back in. in. He's in a lot of trouble. Super going to try and save him. There's just no way at all, though. Dogfight throws down the silence onto several. Sakta there as well. The OP comes out, and it looks like they're going to be able to pull back in the Slardar as well. They take down another... Puppy ends up dying. Injali able to get the crush, and that will secure his escape. Dogfights will fall, though. Only a 2 0 That's, score. Uh, I mean, not horrendous for IGV considering they're fighting into an Aegis, but they still, they're losing their life still. They're killing, like, support. So it's an Aegis still in a troll warlord. Immediate response to that from Secret is like, well, they just use global silence. Uh, you've got to find a way to make the initiation work at this point, and that's without a global silence. And mid one with an Aegis in the front lines, not the hero you really want to engage on. So smoking, catching the back lines, that's going to be the key thing here for IGV. Oh, and they're very well positioned right now. In July was looking for initiation dogfights there as well, but they just could not find it. Everybody really well spread out, and now Secret with Weave up as well. They're going to start hitting this tier 3 tower. Well, jump, able to get the crush, the snowball save, though, turning it right back around. They get the global out, and Sakata jumping in as well. They've already taken down Keizu. A nice start to this fight for them. Going to pull back in another. Can they just convert onto this? Looking like it's going to happen. Grave comes out of Pylidae. In July, gets a dash as well. They are able to take down Fogs, so, though, and looks like Super's going to go down as well. A double kill for Sakata, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Mid they one, take down he's got still. He's not uh. being touched the entire fight. It's... It's really the only way they had to engage. Jump the axe with the global silence. The snowball came out just before the global, but didn't end up saving him since the, everyone else was silenced after it. But 
Allen, Allen Snowball pulling him back in. Stun on the storm, and he's going to end up dropping. Killing spree. The swap back in as well. Call Paparazzi. This life stealer. Can they bring him down as well? All those stuns have already been used. Injali tries to get a stun out as well, just to create a little bit of space so the life stealer can back out and away. Storm Spirit jumps back in, trying to take down one. Is going to be able to find a kill there, and maybe a bit more. It does look like, at least for now, Secret is overextended and will be punished for it. Does seem like with the buyback and the low respawn on the storm, they'll get a key couple of kills here. That, I mean, it slightly salvages things. They hold their uh, as far as secret go because they can actually just push down this bottom lane now. Even with global silence coming back up, they may just feel like they're the stronger team. Oh no! And just walks into a sentry ward. You, you got to do this as Ricky. Make moves around the map to try and open up a little bit of space for your team. But his his position and there there we go. It actually pops near pilot eye, drops a sentry, but it's on the wrong side. Now oh, they jump in, able to find the life stealer yet again. In July, gets the follow-up stun there to break away the combo oh, from the Venge, and does look like they're going to be able to back out at least for the moment. Now in a lot of trouble, they're going to bring down In July. Paparazzi also in trouble. They're able to control them as well with the shards, and Ricky Ulti already out. This is a huge problem right now, and just looking like Secret are well on their way to securing this first game. No, 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 please. <laughs> I didn't yeah. see this. I guess something canceled. Tusk is going for an Aghanim Scepter, by the way. Um, thoughts? No idea, not a Tusk player. <laughs> Warriors kick, why not? Yeah. Another save or something, I'm... He just wants to boot him around. It's kind of interesting against Lifestealer. It does do damage now. Now oh, this is this is feeling quite rough, and well, they are going to jump immediately. Nice, nice swap away, as well as the Graves. They're not going to have two of their saves, at least for the moment. And BKB Troll, they're right on top of them. Sakata trying to pull down and see if he can kill off MP, but it's just not going to happen. He is far too tanky. Two already dead for IGV, and Secret just going to storm the high ground here. No regard for IGV's life. And good game all play done comes out. It's over. Well, uh, well executed draft from Secret. I, I like their approach as far as having the, the last picture wall have really brought everything together. Made the Venge a lot stronger. Running the Venge as a core against that kind I mean against the Slider Lifesteal duo, I think is a just good kind of core here to have. You're